Hey everybody, it's Brandon the Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend, and I'm once again here on Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas, staying in Junior Suite 1544. Now this Junior Suite is on the 10th floor with Freedom of the Seas, and that means it's not going to be one of my favorite cabins, mainly because directly above me is going to be the solarium. So that is where the pool is, and where you may hear a little bit of noise depending on what's going on upstairs. I normally like to be on the ninth floor or lower to give me one floor of separation to that. But honestly, I went to bed last night at 9.15 and woke up at 7.30 this morning. Not a single problem. So this room has not been very loud. It's actually been very nice. And it is directly beside of the forward elevators. So if you're somebody who has mobility issues and you want to be right on top of the elevators, this is going to be the ideal room for you. But let's get into it. You're going to love the balcony in this room. Um, and you're just probably going to love the overall design of this room. It's really nice. But I'm excited to share with you Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas Junior Suite 1544 here on the 10th floor. So here is stateroom 1544 again on the 10th floor. You'll see that the bridge is directly down the hallway from you. So you'll probably see a few of the captains, the officers that are gonna be walking through here. And then you'll also see that your elevator bank is boom, right there. So if you wanna be close to the forward elevators, it makes it very easy to be able to get to those, to be able to get where you're going with minimal walking. Coming into the room, always my favorite part, you will see that it is a good size junior suite and it's got I think the window on the right hand side seems a little bit bigger to me. The other thing that I notice is the couch over there though, and we'll, I'll just go ahead and show you that. I'm gonna jump around a little bit here, is on the smaller side for this room. Normally it is a three person couch. This room for whatever reason is only a two person couch, but I will say that it still sits quite well. It's gonna be matching with this other green chair that is over here. So you've got plenty of places to hang out, read a book, do whatever it is you're gonna to wanna to do. This chair, even though I'm not a big fan of the green, I do wish that they would change that. Not a bad sitting chair, actually. It, the chair actually sits really, really well. Um, I just wish they changed the color scheme some. You'll see that you've also got this little table here. I always tell myself this used to be where flowers used to be put. Um, fresh flowers on the cruise ship, which doesn't happen too terribly often, um, especially on Royal Caribbean these days. On other lines, it might. And you've got my little towel animal Harry up there. Coming over, my favorite part, you'll see that there is a Lavazza coffee maker inside of this room. So this room does come with an espresso machine. So if you're in a junior suite or higher, you're gonna get an, a coffee machine in your room. Though you'll see that I did run down to Cafe Promenade downstairs that serves Starbucks and got a cold brew, something I don't think they've had here often, but it is here now. And you're gonna have your TV and a little shelf directly above. The TV will swivel as well, so if you do want to point that more towards the bed, you can certainly do that. Coming over to your desk, makeup station, whatever you need to call this space, you're going to see that this is where your power outlets are also going to be. It is a classic Junior Suite desk. It is a good size, one of my favorites. You're going to have two of your American plugs over here on the right. And then on the left, you're going to have one European plug in addition to your channel announcement on off. Make sure that for the most part, you always leave that in the off position. You'll certainly hear some music every now and again if that's um, something that you have forgot and have left on. You'll also see that the mirrors do open up. I call it out because they simply open up. There is very limited storage there as it is a very shallow um, shelf to be able to store things in. You're also gonna have your safe. This is standard issue for Royal Caribbean so you can fit a few things in here, a laptop will not fit in there though, but they're very easy to use. Um, should you have any problems, security team can always come and get into it for you or help you out. But some good storage there as well. And you're also gonna have storage in the drawers over here too. And this is where you're gonna find your um, room service menu as well as you're gonna find your hair dryer over here and these are always hit or miss. This one's done a halfway decent job for me on this trip. So let me flip around and show you the bed now. So this is the king size bed that can be split up if you need it to, if you're traveling with someone that you don't want to share a bed with, you can divide this, but it is a good size bed and it is sleeping really, really good. I'm loving the large pillows that they have on here. Um, and you're gonna have your phone over here to the left. I call this out only because there is a USB-A port on the side of the phone. So if you want to charge your phone and have it beside of you while you're sleeping, you can certainly do that in this room if you have a USB-A charger. I forgot my USB-A charger and bought USB-C, so I have my 10-foot cable running from the desk 
all the way over to the bed, which actually works. I can still have my phone beside of me, sleep, not an issue and it's charging. I just make sure that I sleep on the other side and let the cord run this side so that I don't trip over it in the middle of the night. You'll also see my Manta sleep mask down there. That's something that I rave about. I love my Manta sleep mask. Um, it blocks out a ton of the light and is super comfortable, especially for side sleepers. So if you're a side sleeper like myself, check that out. Here is the full length mirror. Hey there, everybody. And coming over, you have the closet. So this is, I think the nicest closet on the entire Royal Caribbean fleet. That is the junior suite walk-in closet. Even in the nicer staterooms, you're not gonna find a closet that is walk-in and this nice in my personal opinion. I've got my suitcases in here. I've got some hanging clothes. Um, there is plenty of hangers in this room for a weekend cruise. I don't know who's using all of those, but um, good for you. You see that I brought three shirts and I've got one that I'm wearing currently, uh, but that is my favorite part to a junior suite. And I always like just showing you all where this room is. So it is forward right there where that red dot is. The junior suite bathroom also is the first level that's gonna give you a proper bathtub. So you'll see that there is good shelving here. I've not unpacked, honestly, my toiletry bag over there, which is AKA a free lunch box that I got um, because it's only a weekend cruise. So I'm just kind of living out of it for right now. But the mirrors will open up on both sides of this. So if you need to store things um, or you're a person who likes to hide it away and unpack, you can certainly do that. There is storage down below. And I'll call out, make sure that you're stepping up to get into any bathrooms on a cruise ship. There's always a little bit of a ledge there that can be a problem. And you've got your actual bathtub in the junior suite. So anything under a junior suite is not gonna have a tub. It's gonna come with just a shower. And in some cases, they're gonna be very small. Again, watch your step as you're getting in here because that comes up to about my knee is how high that comes. And I have hit my shin several times on that bathtub. Royal Caribbean also has all of their shampoos, conditioners, and body washes um, in, in, in mass containers these days. Most hotels seem to be moving in that direction, but I've had really good shower pressure. This is also adjustable height-wise, um, but it's been a really warm, really strong shower, which is super important to me. Walking outside, I'll show you. You've got windows on the left, which is where your slider is, but you've also got a small window over on the right-hand side that, you know, is nice, especially if you're sitting over on the couch. The door here, honestly, needs a little bit of work. This thing right here, for whatever reason, um, feels like my handle's getting ready to pop off or the entire frame is getting ready to pop off. But you've got two chairs that are out here, giving you plenty of space to be able to sit with the coffee table. And the junior suites also come with lounge chairs, which is one of my personal favorites. All right, so that is Freedom of the Seas, Junior Suite 1544. Again, here on the 10th floor, all the way forward directly by the elevators. It is a great junior suite. I just wish that it was one floor down. If you're watching this video and you can get the same kind of cabin, but on a lower floor, I would encourage you to do that just to be on the safe side. But overall, this is a fantastic room and you're gonna have an awesome time if this is one you decide to book for your next weekend cruise vacation. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser. Hoping to see you on a Weekend Cruise soon.